Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. In the world, a lot of our brothers do what? They just lay around from woman to woman. Why? Who taught them that? Who taught them to have multiple women on call at that back and wheel? Who taught them that? The society we live in. The Lord didn't teach us that. Right. What are we what are we telling the children that we're leaving in those households? Because you're gonna sleep with maybe four or five women. You're gonna drop a seed in maybe one or two of them, or maybe you drop a seed in all of them. You drop a seed in them, them women, you're gonna have a child, but you, as a man, you're not present in each one of those houses. Bring it out. What are we teaching them? What are we telling them? What's the understanding that we're sharing with them? What are we telling them? That they're nothing. Bring it out. That all you was good for was a fun night. Come and find out your purpose. Don't turn your back to God. You're turning your back to God. Listen to what God just said concerning that. Read. I will go and return to my place. The Lord said he's going to return to his place. The Lord is going to leave us to ourselves. He's going to leave us to our destruction. Why? Read. Till they acknowledge their offense. He's going to turn his back on us. And so we turn to him. I just asked the brother, listen, the Lord is the reason why you breathe and come and listen to what the Lord expects of you. Right. And he continued to walk. He turned his back on the Lord. So the Lord has done the same thing to us. He's turned his back to us because we don't want to hear the Lord. We think we know it all. We think we got it all. Right. It we might be driving in a nice 2022. We might have a, 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 a fancy uh, high paying a high prestigious job, yeah, we may have those things. Bring it out. But guess what? The summation of the whole of our people, we are at a, a, a loss. That's we are lost. Okay? We're trying to show you how to be found, how the Lord can find you. Right. If you're going through any issues, any tribulations, any problems, guess what? The Lord will be able to find you. Good. But first... Oh. You gotta find yourself. Yeah. We lost as a people. Right. And why are we lost? Let's continue to read. I will go and return to my place. The Lord has returned to his place. If you look around Chicago, you don't see the Lord here. If you look at this corner, you will see the Lord here. Because we read not the Bible, we doing thus said the Lord. That's right. Right? You're gonna see the Lord here, but if you look around the whole city, you're not gonna see the Lord. Right. You can go to these churches, you will not see the Lord in them churches. The Lord is not being taught in today's modern Christian church. That's right. You know why? Because they feel you gotta you gotta evolve with the times. Bring it out. Ain't no evolving with no times. It's either get out according to the word of the Lord or get rolled over. That's right. The Lord is a, the Lord is not about compromise. He say do. And then that's what you're supposed to do. That's right. That's right. It's not. It's not homosexuality, uh, hatred that we have for our brothers and sisters who practice that lifestyle. We hate the act that they're committing. Right. We love our brothers. We love our sisters. Right. But we hate that abominable act. Right? We're not gonna because they are adamant and fulfilling their lust. We're not gonna bow down our ways to appease them. Right. What we're gonna do, we're gonna teach them, thus said the Lord, whether they wanna hear it or whether they wanna forbear it. I'm, I'm teaching that the laws of God is not being taught in the Christian churches. The Christian churches want to evolve with the times. The Lord said, no, you do it my way. That's right. The world got it twisted saying, oh, no, I, I'm, I'm gonna do it the way everybody else feels it's comfortable for them to do it. No, that's what has us in the lowest conditions today because we have no standard, we have no ethical 
values. We don't understand what a moral is. We don't have a moral compass. You know what our moral compass is, brother? My brother right here with the hat, you know what our moral compass is? I feel, and this is a lot of our people, this is their moral compass. Their moral compass is, you do me wrong, I'm gonna get, get back on you. Right? right? An eye for an eye, right? Ain't that what we've been taught, my brother? We've been taught an eye for an eye. My brother, my brother, what's your name? William. William. Listen like this, William. You know what we teaching? We teaching that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the true Israelites. Yes. We lost our place in this world as being the rulers thereof, and now we are servants. Why? Why do you think we're servants now? Good. You don't know? You're an honest man. I can appreciate that answer. We're going to show you why. Read. I will go and return to my place. Read, let them know where you at. Call it and read it. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. We read out of the King James Version Bible. All right? Read. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Right. You hear that? The Lord said he's going to turn his back on us. Why? Why has the Lord turned his back on us? Because we've turned, as a people, our backs on him. Our moral compass is dead. Give me Deuteronomy 4. Whole Hosea. Give me Deuteronomy 4. We are nothing without the laws of God. Bring it out! You see how they... I'm going to ask you one, one question. And it's going to prove if they see us as somebody or nothing. I'm talking about the nations of the world. Where is our place in the United Nations? Who speaks for us? Bring it out! For the, for the so-called African-American man and woman. For the so-called... Uh, Hispanic man and woman, for the so-called Native Indian man and woman, when the, 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 the nations, when they get together, right, and they start plotting and talking about what they're going to do to content, uh, maintain control or, or provide different services for their people. Who is our representation? Bring it up! The Chinese people, who are their representation? A Chinese man. The Chinese have a table at the United Nations, right? The white man, he has representation at the table. Who is our representation at the League of Nations? The white man, supposedly. And why? Why is he our representation? Why is he speaking for us? Bring it out! Because they don't think that we're anybody. That's right. They see us as nobody. And you know what? We believe that lie. A lot of our people believe that lie. A lot of our people believe that we are nothing. We are nobody. And you can see why. Come here. Check this sound out. Check this out. A lot of our people think that they are nothing. Why? Because of this. Because of what happened to our people. Because of a man that was appearing to be more powerful, more vicious, more stronger than us. Broke our bonds. Broke our, our, our unity. This is what happened to our so-called Hispanic brothers and sisters. Because an oppression has been afflicting on us. And now one of us, brother, look. Look at me. Now one of us was able to rise up and get us from that condition. Right. Good. You know that was prophesied to happen? Let's read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 6. Yeah. Keep therefore and do them. This is talking about the commandments of God. This is our instruction. This is how we are ordered to live in the world. Keeping the commandments. Read. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. This is your wisdom. This is where we get our moral compass from. This is our understanding on how to deal with my brother. Right? In the world, a lot of our brothers do what? They just lay around from woman to woman. Why? Who taught them that? Who taught them to have multiple women on call at that back and whim? Who taught them that? The society we live in, the Lord didn't teach us that. Right. That's not understanding. What what are we what are we telling the children that we're leaving in those households? Because you're gonna sleep with maybe four or five women, you're gonna drop a seed in maybe one or two of them, or maybe you drop a seed in all of them. My brother, come back and deal with us. Come deal with us. You drop a seed in them, them women, you're gonna have a child, but you as a man, you're not present in each one of those houses. Bring it out. What are we teaching them? What are we telling them? What's the understanding that we're sharing with them? What are we telling them? That they're nothing. Bring it out. That all you was good for 
was a fun night. That's all we're telling, and we're constantly perpetuating that same moral compass or lack thereof. We're spraying that in our households. We're coming out into the streets, and we're seeing brothers and sisters that look like us, and we're telling them, I don't think you will as nothing. I don't think of you as anything. I don't see God in you. But you know what we teach? And we teach it that Christ looked just like you. Christ looked just like this man. Christ looks like us. We are the sons of God. Being the sons of God, you're held to a higher standard. There is no standard in the black community today. We're here to bring back the standard of greatness. That's right. Because we are royalty. You understand that, brother? We royalty who have hit our head. We hit our head in slavery. Somebody hit us in the head and made us forget who we was. Right. And told us we some niggas. You don't find a nigga in the Bible. They made the nigga right here in the United States of America. That's right. They made a nigga in, the, in Kenya, in Africa. That's right. They didn't, the Lord didn't make a nigga. So why are we study holding on to these niggerish ways? My brother, my brother, what's some of our customs? What, what are some of our customs? Being here in, in the United States, what are our customs? What do we, as men, what do we do to celebrate our quote-unquote blackness? How do, we, how do we do that? How do we celebrate that? We got things like Christmas, right? We got Halloween, right? We got a gang culture. Bring it out. Now they've created a homosexual culture. Bring it out. And they relate that to us. Is that us? Does that define us? Is that God given unto us? Did the Lord did the Lord tell us to celebrate these different things? Did the Lord tell us to memorialize these different things? These different things are demoralizing us. Do you understand that? Taking us from who we supposed to be to being niggas. Bring it out. We're not niggas. We have to change our understanding. And how do we change our understanding? Let's read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 6. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of all the nations. I don't care how high your IQ is. The Lord said this is your wisdom and your understanding before all these nations. You hear that? Guess where the law in America of paying child support comes from? Because remember, a lot of our men, they like to sleep around from woman to woman. Some of them sneaky in the closet, laying with men. But, but guess what the law of paying child support comes from? Bring it out. Guess. Our God. That's understanding. That's knowledge. Right. That's wisdom. Bring it out. You, these men want to be little boys, and they want to lay around and create these different problems in the neighborhood. Make them responsible, make them pay. The Lord said the same thing. Take care of your child. And if you want to get away from the law of God, the Lord said, I'm gonna make you do what? I'm gonna make you honor me anyway. I'm gonna put a nation over you that hates you. Right. Does a person that love you put you on boats as cargo, wrapped up this tight next to a person? Right. Person laying on top of you, defecating, pissing on a monthly uh, cycle? Does a person that loves you do that? No, a person that hates you does that. The Lord said, I'm going to put a nation over you that hates you and enforce my laws on you. Where do you think the wonderful idea of that should not steal come from? Like, in this in, in, in this world, if you steal something from somebody, what happens? You got to pay for it, right? That's a crime. You go to jail. That comes from here. You not killing folks. That comes from here. That's right. This law, this land, this land will be nothing without the laws of God. Bring it out. And as great and as mighty as it is in its wickedness, this had a catalyst to play in it. Just imagine if we in our righteousness, and we understand who we are. You seeing God in me, and I'm seeing God in you. And you holding everybody to that standard. And we living by the laws of God. How great you think we'll end up? How great you think it'll be for our neighborhoods and our communities if we see our brothers struggling, and we understand that they striving to keep the laws, and we doing everything we can do to keep them. How, did, how much better you think we'll be? Right now, right now it's every man for himself. Right. That's right. That's not how it's supposed to be. Right. You know? It's supposed to be, I got mine. Now I'm gonna show you how to get yours. That's right. That's right. But first and foremost, you have to honor the Lord. What is the nation? Nation is family. 
Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 